Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 215, Web Template Mime Type. In tip 212, I talked about an option for including JavaScript on your Power Pages site. In this technique, you create a web template, and then you use that web template to define a page template. And when you choose not to include the header and footer with the page template, the web template becomes responsible for the entire contents of the page. This means that if your web template contains exclusively JavaScript, your page is effectively a JavaScript file, which can be included elsewhere using the script tag and the source attribute. When we posted this, we had a comment from Martin Doctor asking about setting the MIME type field on the web template, so I wanted to address his question. First of all, Martin was absolutely right that it would be best to set the MIME type field on the web template when using this technique. The MIME type field controls what MIME type the Power Pages server will specify when returning the response for the web page. If left blank, the server will default the MIME type to text forward slash HTML. In this case, since we have a JavaScript file, we should set the MIME type to text forward slash JavaScript. But what happens if we don't? Well, it depends. By default, it will probably still work without the MIME type. This is because modern browsers use something called sniffing to determine what type of file it actually is. By looking at the contents of the file, browsers will most likely figure out that it is JavaScript and it will run just fine. However, if you set the x-content-type-options header to no sniff, which is controlled by the HTTP forward slash x dash content dash type dash option site setting, this will tell the browser to only deal with files based on the actual MIME type. In this case, your JavaScript won't execute and the user will see an error in their browser console. So, long story short, it's best to set the MIME type appropriately for web templates used as page templates. Another common example would be using Liquid with a web template to generate a JSON response. In these cases, set the MIME type to application forward slash JSON. Thanks again to Martin for the comment. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 215 on web template MIME type useful.